Hey guys, Ian and Richie here from Just Play Games. Uh, we're going to do a bit of a recap yep. of uh, what's gone on so far. So we've just gotten round two underway, about half an hour in. Uh, we're just going to have a talk about some of the more interesting matchups that happened in round one, uh, and also the story of what's going on going into round two. Yeah, because it's unusual that it kicks off so much early on, but some of the matchups, some of the well-known players have played each other. There's been some interesting things that's come out of it, hasn't there? Yeah. So um, we kick off with round one. Yeah, yeah. So Gary Percival, he's brought uh, Carrigan Overlords here, which he's very well known for it's on, on the scene, playing the clown card. Back in the day. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Managed to blow off uh, 120 Plague Monks. So, uh, surprised he got to shoot through that much stuff. I didn't have it for that, but between that and Plague First, took it up and, and got a win there. That was good. Yeah. And then uh, Tony uh, Moore was playing against Jack Spencer, um, and uh, you know both quite well known players, and a flesh eater called Mirror. Uh, in game one, it was super close. Walked past that table a bunch of yeah. times. Every time I went past it, they both lost a whole load more stuff. Sure. Uh, and Tony took that one in the end, but only a minor win. So you know, certainly one of the best players in the tournament. Yes. Only taking a minor round one can uh, make make quite yeah, a really difference. Really, really opens yeah. things up there. Yeah. 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 Mm. And to go on from that, this is where all the excitement's come from. Really, James and Laurie also played round one. Yeah. James. And so James since then, Laurie Hogan Wild yeah. and watching it, and two another two of the top players in the country playing each other round one in a, in a very close and tense game again. Did that ended up with a draw reported in, but it was a very um we we did the in the round procedures that we put into place come in quite a lot here, didn't they? You know, yeah. we had five minutes to decide the winner, you know, there was a lot going on, there was rules, things that had gone wrong, and then there was if um you know, do you play the extra turn, do you not on that? So yeah. they, they ended up with a the draw there because it was yeah. incredibly close. So it's a good one. Yeah. And then again, so out of you know some of the best named players, Mike Wilson uh, played against Sam Watson, who were both you know tournament regulars who do very well at events. And uh, Mike Wilson took that, um, so that left Mike as uh, probably one of out of the the best known players at the event. The uh, names, yeah, the, know, the, 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 the people that we would stuff. expect to see coming up. Mike is the only person after round one on a major win. With Gary, uh, yeah. Oh, sorry, with Gary. With Gary's on the on yeah. the uh, KO, which puts yeah. things out a little bit out there, yeah. doesn't it? So yeah. 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 Uh, and then we got uh, so a couple of other results. Uh, JP Stevens, who's one of our local players, who's not long uh, been playing, but he's you know he's a very good one on forty thousand player. On Iden F Deep, can he played against Rich Hudspeth from Newcastle Warlords? Mm -hmm. They had a really good game as well. So Rich is on uh, what he calls a suicide skating list. It's a, yes. it's a very strong list uh, that we talked about on our podcast. He says that we give him too much credit for being able to play it. Yeah. Um, okay. But you know he, he managed to kill fifteen eels on turn one after they'd killed a lot of his army. But he had to like warp lightning vortex on top of his own army. Oh, almost yeah, vortex, triple wall lightning can the doom wheels. There was a yeah. lot. He just didn't screen so, quite well enough. He felt we, yeah. he didn't he didn't put enough into yeah. the screen. So. But he, he took all the eels off the board. But JP just managed to win the game just with the with the thralls and, the, and yeah. the, you know my personal favorite the reavers. Yeah. Uh, he just managed to mop that game up. Yeah. So it was a quite exciting round one. You know, so you come out of round one. And there's not like the clear names all on majors. They've all took some losses because there's five rounds of forty two players. You would expect this turn with two five O's on majors. Don't know how that's going to pan out. Yeah, you so know, it's going to be complicated. It's going to be complicated so much yeah. already. So yeah. that's quite exciting for yeah. it. Like so, going into round two, then table one, we've got uh, James Sharmas from Newcastle Warlords playing against Lewis Sloan, who's on Silverneth. He's got a really lovely, uh, lovely bright Silverneth army. Uh, so that's Stormcast versus Sylvaneth on table one. Table two is uh, Beast Claw Raiders versus uh, Squigglelanch. So yeah. we got an interesting uh, mix of t uh, table, top table armies there. You know, no no Skaven, no no Flesh Eater Courts, no. Uh, on the at least on the top two tables, but I'm sure so it's still early days. I'm sure we see some there. We're playing there. three places of power in round two, and it's uh, happening in a quishy show. Actually, oh, actually, you're terrible at pronouncing the names of rounds. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I correct you a lot of the time. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, no fuss there. Uh, at least it's not three places of arcane power. Yeah. Star Strike. All mixed up. Of Valor. Yeah. 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 Nathan's taking on Mike Wilson. Nathan Foster, who's again one of our guys, international player, flew in from Italy yeah. Yeah, for this. Um, he's taking on Mike Wilson. The real two, two top list takers. Nathan's on a very strong uh, Daughters of Cain list, 70 yeah. Sisters. The only, Marathi. only default. Sort of cookie cutter top yeah. uh, doc of list at the event. So Absolutely. Yeah. See if Mike can chew his way through that. Gary Percival's got more Skaven. Yeah. Another 120 Plague Monks. Yeah. With Plague Bearers and that there. So we're like, can he do that again? You know, yeah. can he just come here wanting to blow Fet Dragons off the board and he just keeps getting bones yeah. of Skaven? Yeah. The opposite so, of what he wants. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and then next up, this is, this is where it's all got messy again because Tony and um, Jack have got the minor. Because 
James Tinsdale and Laurie I've have got draw. the draws these yeah. are all super close in points they're all playing each other again now yeah. so it's really ending the tournament for those guys quick yeah. so Tony's playing against James Tinsdale this round uh, which is Feck versus Anna Thiekin and Laurie on Savannah has got Jack Spencer's Feck so yeah. we've seen a lot of that yeah you know this is resolved pretty early yeah. on so the tournament's really really wide open which mm-hmm. is great because it's an interesting tournament this you know that we've got some of the top players in the country playing mm-hmm. uh, and we've also got a lot of people who don't go to a ton of tournaments as well yes you know we've got like a huge amount which is really great a huge amount of local and extended local area support as well as people traveling um, and you would expect the results of that way to go you know everyone's gonna have a great tournament but the top players who traveled are gonna yeah. be up there at the end and they're all playing each other yeah. already so this is anyone's tournament yeah. now and it's, uh, it's gonna be really exciting to see how, how everyone gets on oh, I can't wait yes yeah. yeah so uh, yeah so keep tuning in uh, we're gonna be continuing with our coverage uh, all throughout the day plenty more of these coming plenty more player interviews and all that kind of stuff and we'll uh, see you soon thanks guys